Gotta get my bearings back. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. Tonight we are on... I think my sound has turned way down. <laughs> the champ campaign de France. Yeah, I turned the vinyl. Well, I was playing with JC and, and uh, Tayloa. Couldn't hear them over the tractor sounds, so we got to turn that back up again. So today, it looks like we got some field work to do. Uh, I've got this mode. Needs to be wind road. And I also have this field over here. Needs to be bailed and collected, I think. I'll probably do this first. Because I'd like to get this field growing again. So let's go ahead and find our tractor. And our baler. Um, I almost feel like we should, and we got some money. I don't think I have it loaded. There's another baler that actually puts the bales into a trailer. It's made by Fort Schritt, but I don't know if I load. I might have to pause the game and load it. Uh, baling technology. Come on, Arthur. There it is. I don't know if I loaded it. Um. Uh, That's our Galini. Uh, yeah. That's not... Yeah, I don't have them loaded. Oh, well. The problem is right now I'm hand-loading everything on the cart, and it takes four freaking ever. I mean, you guys, it's painful. Like, it's fun if you're doing it, like, for, like, a not-recording farm where I have time and I'm just messing around. Not so much when I'm trying to make content. Uh, so let me look into that real quick. Give me one second. I'll be right back. It'll be like nothing. No time has passed at all. So we are back. We're going to run down to the shop uh, and talk to the shop owner and see what kind of deal we can get on a tipper and a baler that'll make our lives a little bit easier. Because, look, I have to look at it this way. I've got, you know, like, all this content that I have to produce. And I don't have time to sit around and just play the game by myself. We need to get stuff rolling. So, uh, we're going to run down to uh, the shop. Let's see about trading this little fella. What the? What? What? Oh. Oh, no. I, I've done it. Oh, no. Okay, let's try this. There we go. This Galini's been great, but I think we might have bought something that we can't really... I need something that's going to load the bale so I don't have to do it by hand. <laughs> so lazy. No, no, it's more about efficiency. All right, guys, I'll be back when we get to the shop. We have arrived at El Chapo, or Le Chope. Oops, drop that there. We're going to sell. I talked to the dealership on the way over. I called him on my phone. It was a hard conversation because the tractor is so noisy, but the conversation was had. And I said, look, this baler is too much. We need something that's a little bit easier to use. Since we've only had this one for a day, they were like, yeah, we can give you most of your money back. So there we go, $31,000 back. And they do have a used Fort Strip baler, just as I was hoping they would. Um... I'm going to have to order some parts for it, though. Let's see. There we go. And it's cheap. Uh, main color. What are our... No. What's our choices? Ooh, that's cool. Really? We could do them all? Can we do Massey Ferguson? Oh, that's so cheating. We'll do the portrait colors. I like that. Green's probably cool. <laughs> we'll get the ugly yellow wheels. Uh, design. Trailer attacher. Standard trailer attacher, uh, attacher type. Trailer. Okay. Three point trailer. Yep. And that's it, huh? So the trailer goes off to the side. We might have to do some trial and error with this. Um, but that looks right. Design color. What is it? What is all this? Rim color. 
Portrait has this horrible yellow color that they can get. Yeah. Ew. Let's do that. Design color. White. I don't know what this is for. Do you guys see anything changing? Oh, it's the label. We'll just leave that white. That's fine. All right, so 9280 bucks. That's much better. We've actually earned some money on that. Once again, it's going to be low-quality Eastern European junk. No offense, but it is. Uh, and then we're going to also get... We need to get a trailer, a bale trailer. Now, this is where the trial and error comes in. I kind of did some research a little bit online to see what people were using with it. And it looks like there's a crone set here. That uh, works with it. So these, these. Let's see, tipper, red frame, red frame, old purpose tipper. Why are these? Oh, different brands. And you can get it all kinds of different configurations. Um, bale trailer, no back. Let's see if this has what we want. Oh, yeah. Small bale buildup. That's what we want. Will it fit, though? That's the question. I don't know if that's going to fit underneath our portrait. I hope it does. Brand Crone Zenland. That, that works. 11,000. Let's see. How tall is... Uh, that may be too tall. We're going to have to extend this and hook them up and see. And I'm, So this is going to be... We're going to lose a little bit of money here because I'm going to... Unfortunately, this is trial and error. That is traditionally what this fortress would empty into, but... Um, let's see what kind of options we have. Does, this, does it raise and lower... See what options are available here. Fold, control speed. I will say this though, it has a hole on the side. Oh. This is unfortunate. Let's see. Detach. Oh wait. Uh, where's the unfold bear lower, lower pickup? Where did the trailer attacher go? Oh. Uh, well, fudge nuts. Hold on. Let's see. I, nope. But <laughs> I do it this way. I wish this thing would empty out the back. That's that's where this would be like handy. Will that work? Is it shoving it? It's shoving it, isn't it? Quad. Unfold tipper. Oh, they're so close. Unfold and fold. Open cover, close cover. Unload here, toggle cruise control, hawk. <laughs> Seeing you biscuit. These were so close. I wish that worked. Man. And the baler, there's no control over lower baler. Lower pickup, turn baler on. No. Open cover. Unload here. Unload 
here, toggle cruise control. I mean, oh God, it's so close. If we were only doing left turns, it'd be fine. I mean, is it a marriage? Is it a match made in heaven? No. Ah, oh. Okay. No. Detach. Okay, so that does not work. Dang. Hey, you know what? This is a good way to learn what works with this trailer, this thing, and what doesn't. It would be so easy if we could use that, man. I just... You could almost buy two of those and keep straw in one and hay in the other and just never have to worry about it, but... That ain't working. That's the way you do it. You get your trailer. You dump it off. Look at that. You got your install microwave oven. Custom kitchen. Deli <laughs> Sorry. I'll stop singing, I promise. <laughs> oh, I ran over the... Oh, God. That's a terrible day today. Who's this nut farmer? Can't buy the right trailer. All right, so we need to get rid of that thing. That's That sucks, because that's the one that I downloaded for this. Yeah. Get, eh, we got most of our money back, so like a couple bucks off, but whatever. All right, so let's see what else we got. You know, usually you'd use a pretty open tipper like that for bales. Um And I know some of these have options for that, but let's see. Let's see. The D55 Lizard. What does this come with? Bail wagon. Uh, that might work. What a awful color. So what's the difference between these two? 9,000 and 14,000. Cheaper is criminy. I think this is the one that I'm using, but I don't remember it being just gray. But we need that. Yeah, that would work. Okay, no, I want to... Wow, it's expensive. Wow, 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 wow. But... Uh, design color. I don't care about that. Let's see, lizard color. Green. Yeah, we got to do... Okay. No, Arthur. Arg. Bad day. Okay, no we <laughs> I could do this. I swear to God, rim color should be like white, but gray is the only choice. Okay, how about yellow? Main color. Let's do awful green. There we go. And the design color, let's do awful blue. Ew, perfect. Wheels. Ooh, I like those. Nah, standard. So we're about back where we were money-wise. Well, that's good, though, because we don't, it's not, I thought it was going to be horrible, but it's really not that bad. So let's see if that fits with our setup. I wish those things weren't so dang expensive, but I probably need to buy a second one. Well, this thing makes it so you can't turn left. That's really bizarre. I think I need to make this a three-point hitch. Let's try that. Let's see what happens if I make it a three-pointer. You guys remember how you could adjust that? I want to see that real quick, too. All these ch ch changes It's like a... Messerschmitt, I can't. I can only turn right. The torque makes it so I can't turn left. <laughs> okay. So far, this episode has gone bonkers. Okay, so let's see what we can do here. Tab. There we go. Customize. And we're going to make this uh, three-point. Customize. Yep. Okay. 
Uh, that fi yeah, that fixed it. Okay. So now you know. The one to grow on. Get the three-point hitch if you got a regular tractor with three-point. Okay, let's unfold this bad boy. Now, the good news is the side that it's going to tip onto is on the right side. So hopefully this will be a good thing for us. And if it's over the top, that's good news. Is it too long? No. All right. Perfect. We're now cooking with gas. So we have a way to easily collect our bales. Um, we're going to have to deliver these home separately, obviously, for street reasons. Uh, so I'll be back. I'm going to get these things home. I'll see you in a moment. Look at the happy colors on my tipper. It's so happy. All right, so we're going to start bailing this straw. Now, I am debating whether I should. I probably should just keep it. It's only going to give us like 10 bales. I mean, it's not going to be a ton. We could put it in that little shed there even. Uh, or not. I don't know. But let's get this contraption working and see how it does. Unfold, you evil contraption of the 1940s. Actually, this is probably like 1970s, but who's counting? We go slow. Lower that, right? Where's the lower button? No. Nope. Oh, that's lower. Okay. We shall devour this straw. Make it work. Make it work for us. And here it comes. Should be coming up the chute. It's not going anywhere. Come on, straw. Uh, something is broken. Oh, no, there it goes. The bales are starting to sh sh shoot out, squirt out, whatever they do. Fly out. There they go. God, is, I got the feeling that this is going to work. That's, not a, that's a German accent. I, I would say something in French, but I can't. I don't even know what to say. I'll have to look some French phrases up. It's been so long. Il est marché. It works. Le tracteur marché. I don't know what the word for bale is in French. Ooh, look, these are even different shaped than the other bales. That's cute. These are like little square, square packet bales. Oh, don't hit the tree. Oh, Lord. Step on it! Oh god. This while it's good for little fi little farms, it's not so great ah there we go. Not so great for little fields. Yeah. Ugh. Alright. This is dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> Come and watch a crazy man bail his field. All right, so there we go. Ah, uh, the first bale is about to drop. Let's see the beautiful thing happen. Oh, look at that. We have one bale. Two bales. Look at that. It's perf Parfait bon. Perfection. Good. C'est magnifique. C'est incroyable. I love that when you, when the, oh, and the Incredibles when it's the, the French guy, uh, oh, what was his name? Uh, oh my gosh. 
He's like, Monsieur, Incre Monsieur Incredible, Mr. Incredible, Monsieur Incredible. <laughs> Bomb Voyage, that was his name. <laughs> Bomb Voyage. C'est magnifique. So we've collected not too many bales, but some. All right, so go ahead and dump the rest of those in. <laughs> wow, there's a lot in there. Okay. Um, I think my baler was constipated. So that works pretty good. I mean, it's not perfect, but it was much easier than collecting them by hand. I'll tell you that much. I could see getting two of those and keeping one for straw and one for hay. And then, I, but you'd actually have to get three because the third one you'd have to sell. I don't know. There's all my. Let me tell you something. Those hay bales took me hours to stack. In fact, I'm going to make you watch me stack these. Maybe. We'll see. We'll try to do it fast, but it's a pain because I keep triggering the door. That's why I was. Actually, you know what? Maybe we should put them here on the end because it would be much easier to do that than a way. It's neat to have them in there, but I think I'm going to do the rest of them out here. We'll put the, the straw in here. The, I mean, the, the straw and the hay will go in here. All right, almost there. So that worked out really well, actually. Uh, and it was actually a hair cheaper. Unfortunately, the tipper was the most expensive part. The, the, the baler was only... Uh, ten thousand, I think, and then the tipper was sixteen. Well, we got thirty-one back for the other baler, so it it's still we still end up making a little bit of money, but that's cool because we can probably still afford our cows now. I just need to get that grass collected. Once we turn that into hay, um, and collect it, then we'll be able, we'll be flying. So what should I do, folks? Should I dump it here? Yeah, I'll never pick it up there, so we need to do it over here. Uh, what do I want to do? I don't know what I want to do. I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna use that up in there, and then I'm gonna start storing it over here in this barn, in that last area there. And to be honest with you, I might just leave the grass in here until the next time we have straw. Okay. These are cute. Look at these little bales. They're really tiny. They're like half the size of the small bales. They're little bales. Woo! Oh, you're so cute. Look at you. It's like a, it's like a little guinea pig bale. Wee, wee, wee. That's cool. I actually like these. These are really kind of cool. Bite size. Oh, Arthur. Now, I think the th <laughs> one thing led to another, and Arthur bought a whole bunch of equipment. I think we are going to, we are going to, ah! We're going to need like a little, um, I can imagine buying a, one of those little lizard tippers now and using that to port this stuff over to the cows every morning because we're going to have a big mess, so we're going to have to, every morning we're going to have to do this. Unless we leave them in here and just feed it from here. I, that's what I'm... That's my thought is don't collect any more straw until we're out. And then, you know, finish off the keep putting grass into this thing and hold on to it. And at that point, we'll buy another one of these and use that for a straw storage. Because this is even this. I mean, honestly, though, in real life, this is what they do. I mean, farmers really do have to, like, lift bales and stuff. They don't. It's manual labor somewhat. Okay, let's stack these nice and neat against the wall. There's one. Unfortunately, once again, I wish like my summer car you could rotate stuff. I don't know why they haven't put a rotate in, but they're going to have you hand carry stuff, and then there's no... All you had to do was set the mouse wheel to rotate. That's all they had to do. But I think there's a mod that adds that. I might have to look into that, actually, because I, I really would love to be able to rotate on. Hold on one second. I was going to see if they're... I forgot you farm sim in its, you know, modern heyday does not allow you to adjust controls while you're playing the game. You have to exit the game to actually adjust the controls, which is one of the worst 
It shows that they have not upgraded their engine. They've upgraded the graphics engine, but they have not upgraded the game engine. Why? Because they're still using the same dang system. Like, oh yeah, you can't change your controls while you're playing the game. Dude, it's 2020. Fix the dang game. <laughs> 15 years ago when you first came out, yeah, that was acceptable. But now it's really not. Like every other game on the planet allows you to adjust the controls while you're playing. This is the only game I, that I can think of on the top of my head. Maybe I'm wrong. But every other game I play, and they're all simulators, they all allow me to change the controls while I'm playing. And that includes terribly badly programmed games like Farmer's Dynasty and, uh, you know, Farm Expert. Like even those games allow you to change, but pure farming. I mean, all those games allow you to change controls while you're playing. Somehow we miraculously can't do it here. Come on, farm sim. You're the best out there. Get it, spend a little effort. Uh, the other thing that I'm upset with, and I, we talked about this a little bit on my other video from farm sim, my, my uh, class farm, is that I, while I really am excited about the um, the silver expansion or whatever they're calling it, the, the the Alps expansion that's coming out here in November, I was really hoping that they were going to do more DLCs before then. And it sounds like that's the next DLC. And so while I'm super excited about it, and I hope, honestly, I hope they delay the next farm sim because I really want to get into that farm and enjoy it and play it. Now, it probably will be a main feature of the next farm sim. That's usually what they do is they, you know, bring it along and, you know, Come on. They usually bring the last map into the next one. This is the first time in Farm Sim, actually, that I've, that I've been playing Farm Sim, that they did not bring over a map from a, uh, either a DLC or uh, make a new, like, an old map as one of the maps that you get with the game. So, like, for Farm Sim 15, which is my first version, um, well, 13, really. I played 13 a little teeny bit after 15 came out. Uh, for 13, Hagenstadt was um, the DLC for 13. For I'm sorry, 11. And then for 15, uh, Westbridge Hills was the, or was it Bjornholm? One of those two maps was a DLC map. I think it was Westbridge Hills for 13. And then moving on to Farm Sim 17, Soznovka was the DLC farm. And then on this one, Estancia La Pacha. But Estancia La Pacha was a free release after the game came out. They gave us two new maps with this one. That's That was different. So, All right, so we're going to put this wagon for now. We're actually going to be using it again fairly soon. Do you like my Easter colors? I actually kind of like the colors of the wagon. I picked them to be ugly, but I actually... It looks very Playmobil-like, doesn't it? <laughs> Makes me want to play with Playmobil. And I'm 46 years old. Okay. Anyway, so we're going to go pick up. The tether is what we need to do next. So we need to get some hay for our cows. So we're going to grab the tether out of here. And then we'll need to go back to the shop and get the wind rower. And then we can bale those bales. So here we go over to our grass field, which is right next door. This shouldn't take too long. The wind rower is, you know, oh, bite-sized. So if you are new to the game, what I'm doing is I am turning the grass into hay. Now, in real life, you know, they don't always tether. A lot of times they'll mow and let the grass sit on the field for a week or so and let it dry out. Uh, but if you have kind of wet conditions or you had, you had wet conditions when you cut, uh, like here in Ohio, I see them do this sometimes. The tether goes out there and it flips the grass around, brings the dry stuff or the wet stuff up to the top, and then you let it dry again for some more days. So, you know, if you live in a dry place like Colorado, they never tether because the grass just dries out. But if you live in, like, in Ohio or Michigan, somewhere where it rains frequently, um, they don't, they usually, or not, they don't usually, but they, they frequently will tether. Because the grass dries on one side, then they flip it, and then it dries on the other side. It's like cooking a steak. <laughs> it's not really like cooking a steak. but I'm just giving the example. It's like being a fry cook, but with grass. Uh, but anyway, we need to get this all. And you can see how quick, quick it goes because we have such a small field. We're already like 
a third of the way done. Um, we'll have more to do next time because next time that field over there where the canola is growing is going to be um, grass, and then the field behind it through the hedge is also going is also already growing grass. So we're going to have three grass fields, making plenty of hay, hopefully. Um, and then um, we'll have happy sheep. I mean, happy cows and maybe some sheep, too. Uh, as we get the, the thing that I want to see is how much of this I'm going to buy, like, three cows or four cows, maybe more. We'll see. We have enough to support them, but. I've got water and I've got food. So we're going to buy like four or five cows. Five, I think, is what we'll go with. Maybe six. Five or six cows. No, seriously. I'm going to buy five cows. I'm going to see how much of this hay. If they take it all, then we know that we've reached the limit. Uh, we need to be able to feed them every day. Now, if they take it all, that's seven days worth of feeding. But it takes us a couple days to grow the grass and get it prepped. So um, I, I want to keep it at, you know... I want to be able to keep the cows full all the time. Um, so we'll decide on how many cows we have at that point. They're not going to make us much money, but they'll make us some money. Um, so we're going to rely on the, the crops that we pull from the fields. And honestly, we don't need a ton of money to buy more fields. The fields around here are very inexpensive. So we'll save up, sell stuff, and, and you know, then buy more fields and, and expand our farm and, you know, but the nice thing is, you know, with the, the size of the fields that we have surrounding us, uh, the equipment that we have really is about the largest equipment we need. So we're not going to have a lot of equipment needs. You know, we're just going to get busier and busier. And that I don't mind that. We'll have to rotate crops and stuff down the road. So once again, I'm looking to take this farm, honestly, all the way until we at least get to um, the... Uh, Alps DLC, and what, I'll, my, what I might do is kind of like say, hey, we're selling this farm, we're going to cash it out, and we're going to buy a farm on the Alps, and see how that goes. So, um, here we go. So we're done tedding. Take this back in, and I'm going to run to the shop and grab the uh, windrower so we can get this field at road and uh, a little bit more organized so it's easier to bail. So I will see you guys in a few moments. We have almost arrived at our dealership here. There we go. Welcome to Centriagri. Centriagri. Gonna pick up some stuff. So let's go ahead and get this field wind road with the Oozel tractor, Oozel. I wonder if that means this is like a German version of the tractor. Is Uzel German? Is that a Uzel? Is that a hard Z? Uzel. Schnitzel. Wieners. Wiener Schnitzel. Ha ha ha. I'm so funny. I don't know what's the matter with me tonight, guys. It's 1130 at night. I'm tired been a long day and I'm like man I need to get some recording done so instead of relaxing here I am relaxing oh the train yay I'm actually very much enjoying myself I love this farm this is an enjoyable farm for me so all right I'll be back we have arrived back at the farm with our Massey Ferguson and we're gonna go ahead and windrow and I think we'll call in an episode after that I'll do the bailing in the next episode maybe we'll see I just it's getting late. I've got time constraints on my life. I do have a big video project tomorrow, which is excellent because I've needed work and then all of a sudden we're getting a bunch of work in, so Don't go too fast. I feel like this this is going to go way faster than it should. Like 11 miles an hour seems pretty fast, but I guess, I don't know. I'm not a real farmer. I don't know what speed they windrow at. It seems like a little fast to me, but that's what it's allowing us to do. So Now, this windrow is a pain in the butt. If you guys haven't seen how this one works, it's like 
old school. So you run down one side and then you run back up the other, and that's how this thing works. It's it's ghetto. And I think we're gonna run the other way when we do the bailing, so that the trailer is on the inside rather than the outside, um, because I think we're gonna get stuck on stuff as we pull that trailer through here. So it's gonna be better to go the opposite direction. All right, so we'll stop that, pick it back up. What you should do is this now. So once you've rowed one direction, now you go the other direction. And I'm not talking about the band. I'm talking about farm work. And it shouldn't ever back up with the wind rower. But you can see here, so I'm making a nice row. There we go. And so I'm collecting stuff from both sides to make a nice big row for the baler to collect. So instead of doing it one pass, we have to do it in two. But really, that's the size of, one, our fields, and two, the size of the tractor that we have. Now, we could probably pull the one step up, which is the pinwheel style, like the American style. Or possibly we could pull a, uh, um, oh, crap, I forgot to turn it off. See what it does? Dang it. Ugh. You got to really watch when you pick that thing up. I've now brushed grass into the nether. Ah, shoot. This is not how you would do this in real life. You just... In real life, honestly, they probably would just use a rake. <laughs> like an actual rake and rake it in over. Um, but anyway, uh, it's going to do it again. Ugh. Okay. Anyway, the pinwheel style, the American style wind rower with this tractor could definitely pull horsepower wise, but and I need to narrow this up a little bit. I'm still making it too wide. So I don't know. It shouldn't be. Cool. Turn it off. Now we're going to wind row straight lines after that. Again, make nice big wind rows. Um, I do see farmers doing this around here. Um, they definitely wind row stuff. When they mow, a lot of times, though, our farmers use mowers that wind row as they, as they mow. So it stacks it up. But I've also seen the pinwheel style, uh, American style. Uh, not this style, but the where the wheels, they're like unpowered. The wheels roll on the ground and push all the material to the center. And that's what we see around here. It's like pinwheels. But a lot of them are one-sided, so they work just like this. You run down one way and then run back the other way and make a nice line. Oh, I stole my hazards on. Whoops. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and... Um, pause while I finish this up and I'll see you guys once I'm done I needed to get a clip of this sorry <laughs> hi everybody hi oh, I missed <laughs> all right so as you can see here we are finished got everything turned into nice pretty little rows I'm gonna fold this guy up and put it away look at that look how nice and neat that is there's one little row left over but I didn't want to make the piles too large so we have taken care of our windrowing for the day so let's go ahead and grab our baler set up and get this out here and get it working I don't know how we're going to get it through that fence <laughs> it's going to be a little toit alright pop this here anytime we use one we're going to use the other with those so right. I realized oh Nice driving. I realized I put the baler away, and I shouldn't have because we need it. Still. And I think the way to successfully navigate this is to... Uh, no, I don't want to unfold it. Thank you. I want to turn the lights on. 
through. Uh, we're gonna take this out to the field first and set it up, and then we'll. I, the trailer, I don't think we'll be able to drag it through the. Well, I mean, we could try. Uh, unfold that. Already issues. <laughs> Sorry, darling, about your flower pot. Uh, Sorry about the wheelbarrow, too. Oy. <laughs> Oh, that didn't work. Okay. <sighs> okay, so we'll pull this out. Back it up. Hopefully this will fit through here. I mean, this is like, it's funny when your farm is that large that, or, or your equipment's that large that even the small, or your farm's that small, I guess. I'm actually going to have to run this a little bit because it, it ain't going to, there's no way we're going to get that. Uh, and it's okay because it's not going to spit bales out like in a second. We need to. There we go. We'll get that trailer attached. There we go. All right, let's go grab the trailer. This is going to go fast. We're going to eat these things up. And you've noticed that that first bale is straw, and that's because um, that was what was in the machine. So the last couple bales that come out will be so the first couple bales that come out will be straw. And then it'll switch over to hay. That's why it's brown looking, though. Can't lift the wheelbarrow. Okay. So we'll just leave it in the middle of the road because that's fine. Realism is key. Okay, so we're going to drop this here. and pick up our baler and get this all back up and working. So I don't know if I like this setup. I kind of almost would prefer that this baler, like some of the other ones that we've seen before in older versions of the game, if it would just bail and put it into a trailer behind rather than throwing it in this trailer to the side because this is a pain. too far to the left. There we go. Well, once again, I just you gotta love that baler. It's pretty sweet stuff. And I'm just running it slow. I'm keeping it at four miles an hour. It can go faster, but I don't I feel like in real life this is like a pretty tedious or not tedious, uh, delicate operation right along the fence here. And so even like when I, in real life, when I mow my lawn on my lawn tractor, I go really slow when I'm going along the fence because you don't want to hit the fence or get the tractor tangled up in the fence. I don't know how we're going to make this turn, but I think we're going to miss some of the material, but that's okay. Oh, come on. I actually did pretty good. Oh. <laughs> uh. Not too bad, though. Hold on. That's going to forever bug me. Forever bug. Come on. Oh, come on. Quit dropping stuff. There we go. Once again, that's a pretty cool setup. I like watching it. 
So, there you go. So the mods that I used, just the regular regular old lizard trailer that has that expansion on it. Uh, it's like, I forget what they call it, but it's like a lizard trailer. It's in the mod hub. All this stuff is in the mod hub. In game. Um, I don't really use many mods outside of mod hub, so. So every time we go around a bleeding corner, this thing's going to dump. I mean, what we could do is dump the whole trailer out. Whenever we get to a turn. The downside with looking forward is we can't see what's going on in the back. So I'm kind of trying to keep my eyes on what's happening on the trailer back there. And now we're going to race along the bottom here. Oh, I forgot to empty it out. Oh, well. And I think what's going to happen is it's going to clog up. There we go. A little less material on this line because we have... This was where uh, that windrow, like, fell short. Like, it was not the right size. suck too much in. I'm actually going to go down one of these rows now. There we go. Oh. Well, she balls. Actually, I'll probably just go around and pick them up afterwards, you know, like the couple that we dropped. But we're getting a lot of hay. This is, this is going to be hopefully enough hay for the cows for a couple days at least. Now, I could see stacking this in the cow barn. They're going to use this up a lot more than they use straw. Boy, I'm surprised that thing hasn't started going over the back of the of our rig and now ladies and gentlemen the blue angels will perform the fleur de lis it's like everything's splitting up <laughs> no don't do that stay together in formation stay on target stay on target oh we're going to lose another one Oh, no, I went in. Yay. And another one. So I'm shocked. These have not gone. I thought we'd start losing them over the back, but they're loading towards the front now by themselves. So that's good. We are actually not losing bales. So this works out great. Yeah, I could see buying it. Like I said, I could see buying another one of these and using it like as a whoa, storage for this. Like keeping two of these wagons, one with grass and more, one with hay and one with straw. Yeah, I missed a bit. It happens. Poo poo happens. I would say that trailer is pretty full, but if I move stuff around a little bit, I bet you we can stuff more in there, more material in there. We're going to lose another bale. Ugh. Turn, dang you. No. This is going to be a nice hour-long episode. You guys get to have extra time on your French video. Because I'm having fun. Something that hasn't happened in a long time in farm sim. All right. So we're going to... Oops, I didn't mean to shut the... Uh, oh, well. I suppose that's a good idea anyway so I don't get killed. We're going to come up here and clear up the clog a little bit. We need to... Whoops. Sort this jam out where these bales are going to start going up over the edge. So... Come on. All right. I really have to hold the control button down. Thank you. 
Another great physic of the game is as soon as you try to pull anything that has anything holding it, holding it back, it just lets go. Love that. Way to go. How about if I pick something up, I want to pick it up, so leave it. Don't nick it and let it get knocked out of my hand so easily. In real life, you just yank until it comes loose, right? On this game, not so much. If it touches anything else, it's, it, it's let go. Once the, one of those things that it's like two versions of the game now. You haven't fixed it. Come on, guys. Like, quit being lazy. I love the game to death. I'm probably going to get in trouble for saying that, but, like, seriously, fix the game. This is the kind of stuff that people complain about. It's like, this is simple things to fix. It's not hard. But they haven't done it. I don't know why they haven't done it, but they haven't done it. Let me drag things. Don't make me let go every time I touch something, you know? It makes handling... Like, this would be so more, much more realistic if we could just hold on to the bales and grab the strings and yank them, you know? All right, that's good. That should get us through the rest of the field. And I think for now, we'll just leave... I have a feeling we're going to end up using all of this for the cows. So we're just going to leave them in the bale trailer for now. Uh, and then once we're done... And we're going to be, you know, like once I'm fed the cows, then I'll stack what's left over. But I have a feeling we're going to use most of this. Even for five cows, you, it's shocking how much food the cows eat. So I can almost guarantee that these cow, the cows are going to be eating through that real quick. So I'm pretty happy with this setup. Uh, like I said, at first I was skeptical and seeing how this was going to work, but it actually works great. Uh, once again, and I don't mind moving the bales around a little bit. In real life, if you didn't have a helper, you would have to get off the tractor and do that. So it's not unrealistic that I had to get out and kind of adjust things a little bit so that the bales would go where they're supposed to go. I do like the size of the bales, too. I like the little square bales. This is excellent. something unique and new for farm sim not super new this has been out for a couple months but you know i'm always behind on mods so <laughs> right, let's go see if we can grab that last bit whoa easy easy there easy trigger whoa horse head. Oh, I wanted to get that piece right there, you dummy. What are you doing? Where, where, are you, where are you doing? Get out there. Oh, okay. Okay, so that shuts that off, and we're going to dump. Yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 Lord. Oh, Lordy. Didn't see that coming a mile away. Okay, so we're going to put this here and fold this up. Nope. No, I want the force rip. Yeah, no, yeah. Okay, there. Oh, ah! Okay, no. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Okay. Disconnect the trail. That's what I want you to do. Yeah. Now fold. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> okay, I need to go find these bales that just got flung off the tractor. Or off the trailer and into the, into the woods. There's a bunch of them. Yeah, one... I saw at least three go. I think there might have been more, though. Two. Three. Well, at least he jumps like a champ. <laughs> he might not be able to hold on to things, but he's he's got the legs of, a, of Kermit the Frog, man. He can hop like there's no tomorrow. I'm Michael Jordan. Score. Okay, so anyway, shows you what era I'm from. People from this era of life would probably say LeBron James. <laughs> Is he still? What's, okay, let's see. Anything down here? But for me, the basketball hero was Michael Jordan. Actually, Larry Nance. And I don't think Mark Price was tall enough to slam dunk. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, put this stuff away. I'll take you with me. You know what? We're already almost at an hour. Why not go over and give you guys like a special edition Farm Sim France? Because we're having fun, right? 
I'm having a good time. Put this away. Oh god, there's that stupid wheelbarrow. Run it over, crush it! That's what I think of decorations. Uh, so we'll park this over here. Uh, don't crash. Or do. Whatever. If you really want to crash, crash. Okay, that thing is just a monster. And let's get our wagon full of hay. So one, we get one, that was all fertilized and limed and everything, so we get one fertilizer, I'm sorry, one trailer of bales off of this field. I mean, really, that is a full, full trailer. And this needs plowing and lime? No, okay, we're all good. And you can see here it's 50% fertilized because mowing counts as fertilization, so... At least in the non-modded version of the game. Now, if you're playing Seasons, I don't know. If you're playing Maze Plus, I don't know. That's it. Change th those mods change the game. Now look at all of our nice little bales. Awesome. A feast for cows. Speaking of a feast for cows, where the heck is the last or the last two George R. R. Martin books? I want the. Was it winter? The winds of winter? Where the heck is this book? It's only been 10 years. Dude, you're going to die before you... Oh, just do it. Getting aggravated. I, I'm definitely not going to watch a TV show. I might have to, though, if he doesn't... I don't want to. I really don't. It's so not appetizing to me to have to watch a show to get the book. I think Harry Potter was one of those instances where the movie was actually better than the book. Uh, I've read all the Harry Potter books. I love them to death. Love them to death. But I still feel like the sh the actual um, the movie was better. Um, there are probably people that disagree with me. I love the books, like I said, but the movie to me was just phenomenal. Outstanding. Superb. Okay. So let's go ahead and find out where these the cow buy spot is. I think... I'm not mistaken, it's here. And we feed them there. So here's our cows. We're going to buy... And you want to buy all of the same color because they'll mate faster. So we're going to buy... Let's see, these look like um, milk cows, don't they? If I can see a, a black and white cow, I think milk. I mean, all cows make milk. I, th I, I think these are, these are like meat cows <laughs> in real life. Brahmins are interesting. I don't know. You don't lose. They're all the same, honestly. In the game, it doesn't really matter. Let's do Bra I haven't done Brahmins ever. So we're going to do Brahmins. One, two, three, four, five. $13,000 for the cows. Okay, so let's see how the feeding goes. If we can feed more, I'll get more. Uh, we want to turn the water on. Okay. That's going to feed us, fill us up for the cows. Hi, cows. So today was official cow day at Chapman Farm. Or should I say Chapman Mall. Chapman Farm. Okay, so we're going to... These are 521. So these are a little bit larger, once again, than the other bales. Um, we're going to put these in. Bloop. Um, I should be able to just set these in here. No? No? May we? Oui. May no? Qu'est-ce que say? Uh, right there? Nope. Do I have to shred these? I hope to God I don't have to shred these bales. How are we going to even do that? I guess the bale shredder will work, but I want to buy a bale shredder. Oh, Lord. And here's the problem. The triggers are so large that I can't grab this. Okay, got it. Come on. Quit dropping the mail! Oh, my God. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's not taking the... Nope. I don't see where we're supposed to put straw. We're going to have to blow it in is what we're going to have to do. <laughs> Fudge nuts. They don't have to have straw, but they're they're going to. Bagum. 
There? Nope. There! Nope. Okay. That sucks. If I remember right, I think... See, we used to be able to set them... But maybe I'm wrong about that. Maybe we couldn't set them on. Maybe you do have to shred them. I just... I don't remember. It's been a long... Oh, see, now some of these bales already went to the cows. So they've taken about half. Let's... Oh, come on. Did it take everything that it could take? Let's toss that down there on the ground and see what happens. Yeah, I think they're full. So we still have half a cart. So let's take a look here. Um, we need to look at the cow chart. And they are full of water and they're full of hay silage. Pellets. Hey, I forgot where we did the uh, um, the crone uh, pellet pack. What do they call it? The straw harvest. Um, so water, they have no straw. Their cleanliness is 0%. It should be 100%. They don't need food. Okay, so, uh, but we're good. So we have hay silage, hay pellets. That's good. Um, they're saying we need grass, too. So I guess we'll start adding grass. And I didn't think they ate grass. On Let's watch and see what happens. If they go to 80%, we don't need grass. Uh, but anyway. Uh, so you know what? Since we have about a half a trailer left, and we got more, we got more grass constantly coming on the way. I think we're gonna do it. We're going to do it. I'm gonna buy. I'm gonna take a risk, and I'm gonna buy ten more cows. Which ones did we do? Light brown? Yeah. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, I hope that wasn't a mistake, but there they are. And we have one bale left. I think that's the straw. Yeah. So, I don't know how we're going to handle this, but we'll figure it out. I, I, I think we have to, we're going to have to buy a bale shredder. So, I'm getting jammed up here. And so let's take a look and see. Oh, yeah, there's our square. All right. How much do we have in there now? So they need, they got 33,000. So the grass that's coming tomorrow will end up filling, the rounding that off. And we're just going to need to keep bringing more hay and silage. That's good. So 15 cows is our capacity. And I feel like we're going to get a decent amount of milk from that too, guys. Um, maybe a couple thousand dollars worth a day. I will only sell it when it's full, but, we're, but we'll have, we'll have it. So here, we need to run this again. Eh. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and drop this tipper off. Very useful tipper. Right here. Good. I'm going to go ahead and pull through. Uh, no, I'm not. Okay, so I need to run down to town and pick up a bale shredder. Like I said, I forgot this game. It's... You'd think by now, after all these years of playing, I'd know how to do it, but apparently I don't. So we're going to just pull this tractor up here, off to the side. Where am I going to park this thing? Uh, my barns are full. Man, I could put it here. We're just going to have to move this stuff off. There we go. Okay. Hop in this guy. Put that down. We're going to go ahead and get the big tires on this one again. So we'll set this up. Get it ready to do some front loader work. Customize. Put regular tires back on. 800. No. Wide tires. Customize. There we go. And did it keep my arms? Yeah, it kept the arms. Okay. Sometimes these tractors, I found that some of the mod tractors lose the arms. So. All right. So we're going to go get a bale shredder. And then once we're done with that, I think we'll be done with the episode. I'm going to feed the cows the straw. And then we'll be all set. So I'll be back. I'm going to run to the shop. I'm looking to see if I have a... I thought I had a weight. But if not, I'm going to have to buy one.
Because the, the bale, nope, I don't. The straw shredder is heavy. So, all right, I'll be back. All right, so for those of you that haven't done this before, you could use a mixing wagon to shred it. It's expensive, though. We don't have that kind of money. Uh, they make mobile shredders. I don't think I have any. Yeah, this one, here we go, the Anderson Chop. $37,000. Or you could go the simple route and just buy a front one that mounts on the front loader. That's this guy, FL. This is going to be for a telehandler. This is a front loader, and this is for a uh, skid steer. But we're going to grab the one for the front loader. And it comes with a pair of forks and also the unit. It's $2,300, which is, that's within our price range. So we're going to buy one of those. I totally, I don't know why I forgot that you need those, but I did. So I'm going to run down to the shop, and here we go. I have arrived, j'arrive, at the shop. We're going to grab, we got the weight. You see, it's a pretty large unit. That's why I said we need to get the wait for the tractor so once we once we load that up with a thousand liters of straw it's gonna be you know heavy duty brings out the duty in your soul let's see how badly this affects the tractor oh, not too bad okay all right so I'm gonna run this back to the shop or to the farm I mean and I will see you guys when I get there um, it's a pretty big unit, but we'll be all right. Hopefully we won't kill anybody. Oh, look out. All right, guys, I'll see you when I get there. We have arrived at Chambly sur Muse. And we are going to, I think I need to switch around the way that this, uh, is situated. So we're going to grab, uh, this. Nope. That. Like so. There we go. I'm gonna drop that. And I'm gonna this is cool. Watch what I do here. If it's not facing the right direction, you can grab it from all three sides. The hay gets shredded and gets flung out the front. You can see that that uh, the shredder there. It flies out that way. So you can adjust which side you want it on. You can have it on left, right, or front, like pulling forward. Now here, because you'll see why I'm doing this. Because of the way that the our barn is set up. We need to put this uh, this way. And you'll see why. Because when we go in like this, we're then going to be spreading it out that way. Nice driving. Now we should be able to put three or four bales in there. Actually, maybe more. This holds 4,000 liters, technically. Now, as far as the game goes, though, I don't know. I don't know how we're physically how we're going to actually fit these in here, but we're going to try. So, um,. Pick that up, set it in, pick this up, set it in, pick this up, isn't that nice, nice and easy. And this will tear them up and shred them up. I don't know if this will actually crash the game, I've never actually put any of these bales into the shredder before, <laughs> so this may not work, we'll see. All right. Yep, that was it. That's what we needed to do. Oh, so the, the trigger ends there. Now, you don't really have to go back and forth. I'm kind of role-playing it here. In real life, this is you'd go back and forth like this to spread it out along the cows. Turn our hazards off. Also turn our beacon off. I'll do that in a minute. So that's that's how that works. Once again, it's nice that they put that in there because in the old versions of the game, you were like twenty five hundred bucks. And you couldn't, you or it was like $40,000 for the equipment that did that. But in the old version of the games, you could just pick, pick it up by hand or drop it in there or use a front loader to load it in. You didn't have to shred it. But in this version of the game, shredding became mandatory. So um, they've uh, they've given us these nice Warzy um, bale shredders that work really well. It works, it works really well. And it's very affordable. Uh, once it goes in, you can't touch it. 
It's like the uh, killed you bottles at the drunk's house in my summer car. Once he's got them on his table, they no longer belong to you. All right, there we go. That should be good. All right, guys. So I'm going to finish doing this. This will probably take me a wah, another hour or so. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. I'm going to get this finished here, and we'll have the cows all set up for tomorrow. Uh, but we have 15 cows now. Yay. So we should be producing, I'm going to say, maybe 1,000 liters a day of milk. So every 18 days, we'll bring home about $30,000 in milk. It doesn't sound like a lot, but you know what? It's it's side income. So we're not, oh, for crying out loud, we're not, um, aside from just feeding them grass and straw, we're not really having to do much. So... Um, in fact, I might even, well, we need, we need more fields worth of grass, obviously, because we didn't have enough to feed all of them. But I think as the days go by, we'll catch up and we only need to do one field of grass. So we'll see. Uh, anyway, have a great night, guys. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this extra super duper long edition of Farm Sim here on Shambly Sir Muse. Um, and uh, I will see you guys in the next exciting episode. Have a great night. Bye.